this motion is quite comprehensive and actually, you know, throws up quite a lot. And I think that um, if you understand that our main problem in this country remains the power sector, and you look at the contents of this motion, you won't need to go too far to understand why we are still where we are. I mean, year in, year out, our capacity of what we are doing, it's, it's has remained the same. I mean, it's um, the Electric Power Sector Reform Act 20, 2005. I mean, remains the roadmap. But as of today, you are not too sure. Is the power sector privatized? Is it still under public ownership and control? You find ministries working too hard to make sure that they are not confined to what their role should be in terms of policy. Because that role makes them unable to give contracts, to have big you know, provisions in the budget and all that. It continues to hold this country down. You find that compared to the you know, communication sector, in spite of its own problems as well, NCC, what NCC is to the communication sector is what the electric power, you know, regulatory commission, NEC, is supposed to be to the power sector. But you don't know about them. You don't hear them because of the way that the power sector is being run. So I think that it's very important that this matter has been thrown up for discussion at the floor of the Senate. And I think that I'm also very encouraged by the contributions of the chairman of the committee that a lot of what has been thrown up here is what the committee is already handling. I believe that this motion was brought here in order that the Senate can also help and put its own this thing on it, its own interest. And I think that it's a lot of the times in the course of a particular tenor, it, we wait to the end of the tenor before we begin to ask questions about what has happened to the power sector. I think that this motion should seriously tax us and engage us enough to continue to want to find out what's going on there. I think that the Committee on Power also owes this Senate the duty because of the importance of the sector to our national economy to continue to call the attention of this Senate and to continue to provide briefings in terms of what developments are occurring there.